the topics that have been spoken about here um, have been really incredible. But I'm so proud, so proud that we have people that are moving us in the right direction on the continent. The only thing I'll say, I'm going to be, I think you used the word shameless. I'm going to be shameless here a little bit too. I say, I'm coming to speak for sports and entertainment. And when we speak about sports and entertainment, the energy in the room changes. <laughs> There's something about sports, entertainment, that brings us together. It brings us peace. Them. Makes us smile. to be able to go to Uganda and play in an arena, go to Tanzania, play in an arena, go to Nairobi, play in an arena, and we have these tours around Africa, and me, and you, and everybody will have jobs. People, people will have work. It will create a movement. It will create an economy for us. It will create resources for us in an incredible way that I've seen. Here, think about it. Think about the NBA. Think about the NFL. Think about college basketball. Think about the revenue. Every day, games, money, people watching, sponsors, naming rights. You can think of all of it. We have it in Africa. You know what Africa's biggest jewel is? Africa's biggest jewel is its people. Yes, its people. Yes, because I go to Arsenal, how many Africans? I go to Chelsea, how many Africans? We go to Liverpool, the soccer team. We go to Barcelona, we go to PSG. All of them, everywhere, it's Africans. Then, who won the last, the previous World Cup? Who came second in the World Cup? Africa did. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope that we realize, I hope that we realize this. I'm going to queue up a video for you guys to watch very quick. Okay? Two minute video. Please. Step foot into the African arena. Imagine an Africa that does not participate in sports and entertainment, but defines it. We believe in the future of Africa, and that the future is Africa. Africa's population will double in the next generation, with two-thirds of the growth happening in cities. And with the median age of 20, this ambitious young continent will direct culture globally. This is an entire continent. Good afternoon, everyone. Excellency, first lady, it's a pleasure to have you here. I mean, this has brought a day very special for us. Now, talking after Masai Ujiri is a tall order. Wasn't that a very powerful and inspiring speech? My name is Eugene Obadijaro, and I'm extremely honored to be part of this economic development panel, which is going to be focusing on sports and entertainment. I live and work in Dallas, Texas. It's always a pleasure for me to be back here in Washington, D.C., because this is where I went to school. Uh, Georgetown University 
is my alma mater. Let me give you uh, a little snapshot of my uh, uh, professional journey. I started working in the uh, beverage industry 34 years ago with Ralewa in Rwanda. My career has spanned three continents, Africa, Europe, and the Americas. And I've held increasingly senior commercial and general management positions in Rwanda, the DRC, France, La Réunion, the US, the Netherlands, and... Um, music artist, uh, also I'm a co-owner of a basketball team. Um, uh, this is a great opportunity for me as a young Rwandan who has been in Rwanda since I was born. I'm now 31 years old. Uh, who could be Mr. Zikari? <laughs> I'm not young anymore. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to I was born and raised there, and that's where I started my career as an artist. Uh, talking about entertainment facilities, as 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 you mentioned, uh, it's, it has been very very hard for an artist like me uh, to perform or to organize your own event. But you remember when I launched I launched my ten years event, like my ten years celebration of my career in Kigali Arena. That's when I realized like our entertainment has been doing it for a long time. And I would say that uh, these this entertainment facilities put our country on the global stage, not only for hosting uh, worldwide superstars, big games, but also it promotes our culture. And those who come to, get to our country uh, they go back with our culture and they go back with uh, our music. That's, that's, that's how we become, we, we, we become promoted. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the guy whose name is Steve, uh, he's uh, one of the members of the record label here in America, which is called Ace Carve Record. He had my music when he was in Kigali, and he, he liked my songs. He contacted me, and now I'm working with Hollywood. <laughs> through, through that person, and that's where the, the collaboration came from. So, uh, Back in the days, I used to go, when I started to travel, trying to promote my music, I used to go outside of the country, and when I say it, I'm from Rwanda, people used to confuse it, they'd be like, ah, if you're Rwanda, you got that? <laughs> they'll be like, no, I'm from Rwanda, but now, here we are. Last year, I came here in America, I did my tour to promote my music. And everywhere I went, they know Rwanda, and they know us very well. So uh, it's a, it's very very good. Uh, as I said, I was born in '92. To some, at the at this at the point, I was like, maybe I was born in the wrong timing, <laughs> but not really because I'm happy that. I have seen all these 30 years with my own eyes. I've seen the country growing. It was very hard for the last, last time because performing 
in front of people like you, people used to be sad, to the point that you tell them to clap and they can note. Through the entertainment and all this, we entertain people, people are happy back at home. Uh, have you heard about this comedy and music, basketball, football? So, this, if, uh, if it wasn't uh, entertainment uh, facilities, this is, could not be happening like this. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe you can come in.